Welcome back to Living Local. As a lot of families start preparing to send their kids off to college, it can be an exciting time, but also a little nerve wracking. The first few weeks seem to be the hardest for everyone, but there are a lot of ways parents think can support their student through that transition process. Here to tell us more about that is Michelle Mason. She is the Assistant Director of Residential Life at Augustana. Michelle, thanks so much for being here. Yeah, thank you for having me. So let's start with the factors that can really make the first year of college I guess a little more challenging for most students and parents. Yeah, so like any major life transition, um, there's really a lot of anticipation and excitement, um, but there's so much buildup that a lot of family members and students can feel really anxious about that first year. Um, and so it's gonna be um, a challenge for that, um, for them, but it's really exciting overall. And what does the research tell us about the W curve? Yeah, so if you imagine a W um, and the highs and lows mm -hmm. that a W has, um, students are gonna be the same way throughout their first year. They're gonna have highs in that honeymoon phase. Um, they're gonna have some lows or maybe they you know, don't do as well on their first test. Um, and then they're gonna go back to having some highs, back to some lows, and then usually in the year on a high. Um, and that W can be a stretched out and different for each individual student, but it's important to know that highs and lows are normal that first year um, and something to be expected. Right, I think that's such a great point to make is that those are expected, you know, it's just mm -hmm. part of life. It's one of those things gonna happen, so not something to be alarmed by. Correct. When it comes to students and parents, um, each set, they, they kind of have their own specific type of challenges. Mm -hmm. So let's start with students. What are some ways that they can adjust to that first year of college? Yeah, I would encourage students to stay on campus for at least six weeks, um, really delving into that community and trying to get involved. Um, so we at Augustana, and I'm sure a lot of other institutions have activities fair to get to know um, the clubs and organizations to get connected to campus. Campus. Um, so I'd encourage them to do that and also ask for help. Mm -hmm. um, students in general are going to act like they have everything together when they usually are all panicking inside <laughs> and that's normal. Um, and so a lot of times students feel like they're the only ones feeling like that and that's not true. So ask for help from your community advisor or any of the staff members. That's what we're here for. And I know for me personally, I did stay on campus in college for the first two years, actually. And I cannot recommend it enough. Yeah. Um, it is an it, You're just centrally there, mm -hmm. and you have great access to everything. And you're right, there's just so much going on on campus, and you really do feel like you're more part of the community. It's mm -hmm. almost like its own little town. Yeah. You know, a campus becomes yep. like that. Um, let's talk about parents now. Okay. I know some parents may struggle with this more than others, but what are some ways that they can adjust to sending their kiddo off for college for the first year? Yeah, I think being supportive obviously um, but also expecting that first challenge and being there to support students when it happens um, helping to de-escalate that mm -hmm. um, we can kind of go into panic mode and that's easy um, but to really say I'm here to support you um, and I really want to help you through this um, and just listen to them vent encouraging that if they have that first roommate conflict um, that that's normal and to just talk to their roommate Awesome, and, mm -hmm. and parents always help your students uh, move into the dorms like my yes. mom did up seven stories. Oh. I stayed at the towers at UNI, I went to oh, UNI yep. and um, stayed in the Twin Towers there and the elevators were so busy yep. that we had to go up the stairs. Bless my mm -hmm. mom's heart, she was <laughs> trekking up those stairs. You always appreciate the parents' help. Yeah. Um, and at Augustana specifically, you guys offer so many different resources to help both students and parents. Um, let's walk through them. First, let's start with Welcome Week. Yeah. How is this event designed to cater to students? Yeah, so starting with move-in day, um, as soon as you move in, we actually have about 300 student volunteers that help you carry all of your stuff up to whatever what? floor you're on. Yes, awesome. we do. I wish I had that back in yes. the day. <laughs> um, and so we have that, and then as soon as that's done, you will start with Welcome Week. Mm -hmm. and it's jam-packed with activities to help students really stay busy, make connections on campus, and maybe not think about that maybe homesickness that they might be feeling um, and really get them right into Augustana right off the bat. Now, as students move in and, you know, parents go home, it can it can feel a little disorienting. It's like, oh yeah. my gosh, I'm here by myself. Um, so it's important to have maybe a one-on-one -on -one, uh, mentor or yeah. someone that can be there to help you through the next steps. Mm -hmm. um, you offer peer mentors. How do those work? Yeah, so we have first year and transfer mentors that actually lead the groups through Welcome Week. Mm -hmm. um, and those students actually then follow um, throughout the year and set up mentorship appointments, check in, making sure that students are getting involved. And they also partner with our student staff community advisors, CA to help do that same 
getting connected to campus. Awesome, and what are CAs? Yeah, so they're student staff members. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of other institutions also have RAs. So right, it's, that's it's what we call them. <laughs> yep, exactly. Um, and so it's really a student who's a sophomore or higher, who's been on campus for a while, who can answer questions, help you through anything, um, any challenge that you have, and can point you towards resources on campus. What kind of training do you put the CAs through to make sure that they're equipped to help the new students? Yeah, CAs go through about two and a half, three weeks of training. It actually starts next Tuesday. Mm -hmm. um, and so they get handled on emergency response, um, some crisis things, mediation for those roommate conflicts that could potentially pop mm -hmm. up, um, and just general um, how to build community and make sure that their communities are um, diverse and thriving. Right, and, and as you have new students come in, every single student's going to have a different maybe set of challenges yeah. or questions, different life, different uh, issues there. So how do you guys create personalized care for students? Yeah, um, we really look at the student as an individual and I think those connections with community advisors um, really help with that. So we allow students or actually ask students to do a roommate agreement mm -hmm. with their roommates, make sure that that situation and environment is the best for both or all three people in that um, room. And then we also um, help just with individualized connections throughout the year um, and our residential experience model is what we use to program and base that off of. That's perfect. I think that roommate agreement is so important mm -hmm. just to set up the communication uh, between the roommates and yeah. I, I know, I, thankfully I had an amazing experience. We actually roomed together the second year. Oh, we became best friends. Good. Yeah, so Good. That's it what works the hope out. Is. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, well, wonderful, Michelle. Any other last tidbits that you would suggest for students who are embarking on their first year of college? Um, I would just say to ask for help when they need it. I think people feel a lot of times that they can't do that and that's really what we're here for. We want to help and we want students to feel um, like they're welcome and part of our community. Awesome. Well, thanks so much for the yeah, advice, Michelle. We sure appreciate it. Yeah. All right. For more information, you can visit augustana.edu or email residentiallife at augustana.edu. We'll also have those details posted on ourquadcities.com. More Living Local returns after this break. Stay with us.